The evolution of uh, women's free riding uh, those last years has been amazing. Faster, bigger, longer jumps. Hedvigs is one of the girls uh, bringing a new dimension to, to women's free skiing. Uh, probably the, the first girl sending backflips further than some men. From last year to this year, there are a number of women now who are doing tricks. Last year was just Ariana Tricomi, who you would expect to perhaps do a three. And this year, Ari's doing a threes, Hedvig is throwing huge and beautiful backflips. And you can tell there's movement now in the women's field. They push each other. Um, I saw and met Hedvig the first time in Verbier here at the Extreme Verbier. She was here as a wild card and she already impressed me with a very well thought out controlled run and I could see, wow, this girl, she can really ski. I think where she's probably extremely um, well versed is the whole competition pressure situation and I see so much potential in Hedvig. I think she has such a good mindset because she's here to learn and I think she realises what she can do and, and, and what she can't do yet and she's hungry to learn. This one off the ground, you feel that ankle knee is controlling everything, yeah? And then, as you start to go in, you see where my hip goes? It goes in, but it stays tall. Like look at that, the angle of my outside leg. The hip needs to stay square to yeah. the hill. Yeah. So that's the only thing. So you don't want it to be like No, no, there. no, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. It's weird looking at this phase one year later. Last year we were looking at the other side. But it's crazy how fast this year went. I haven't picked a line, like exactly. I have a line that I want to do, or I have some clips that I want to do. But I'm not sure if, if the traverse is too big and also how big the clips really are. The snow looks really good. I think it's good, like it's stomp snow. It's firm and nice. I don't know if everyone would say firm is nice, but I do. Um, then, you, I, then you know what's on there. Of course it's a competition and everyone wanna win, but if I do my run and I'm happy with my run and someone else do another better run, then I'm super stoked and happy for that one because whoever could do the best, they deserve the win. And uh, I just want to ski or I just want to see the girls push the sport and I just want to ski the, see the girls ski well. And if we all could do that, we'll push each other and uh, we all end up being better skiers. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Yeah, I've chosen my line. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's a bit different. And normally I don't like to traverse, but now I want to traverse to something cooler, I would say, than the rest of the face or the rest of 
what I, what I found in the face. No, I feel, I feel good and I, I know, I know exactly where I'm going off and I'm going to be good in the air and just We have another one on our hands, a head big vessel out of Norway, the Power Woman. And she has proven to be a very spectacular and yeah, action-loaded rider all over the, the World Tour this season. <laughs> Absolutely, she has a mogul background, like not any. She was an Olympian and uh, really performing on the highest level in moguls. And uh, there she uh, transferred the backflip that we have seen a couple of times already, but this time it's a pure big mountain venue. So I, uh, I got caught, um, the snow was super crusty and I, my ski got caught and I almost like, like, crashed, I almost got like, pushed on the back. Uh, so I, I didn't have enough time to turn to get and do my first cliff. Uh, so um, yeah, so I got super low score and not, definitely not the run I, I wanted to. Um, I'm just, uh, just of course disappointed uh, because I really wanted to do a good run, but um, I'm so thankful for this season and I've learned so much. Uh, and I feel like every run I learn and uh, oh. I'm just super excited for next year, <laughs> where I have the experience I have now. Um, and um, it's funny how like, how much skiing means to me and how much doing well means to me. Like the feeling of, of skiing a good run and this feeling you get when you come down after a good run, um, because it's just the best feeling in the world. Uh, and I want more of that uh, because it's like this whole thing when you when you build up an expectation around that one run and uh, you plan your run for days and you're nervous and you care and and then you do it and then you nail that run and like in Fiebebrunn when I when I when I did that good run and that's just uh, the best feeling in the world and uh, I want more of that and less of this. Hedvig's part of this new generation of women uh, free riding, uh, pushing the sport um, massively. And I think she has incredible confidence and I expect to see really big things from Hedvig. I'm very excited for her. This year I've been more than I could have expected and uh, super thankful for her. Uh, the whole Free Ride World Tour family and what they're doing to make this happen. It's amazing how many people is behind and just doing it for us so we can ski and do what we love. So, yeah, now I don't know if I can say anymore.